Beer Festival Vienna, and this is the place where people meet that uh, belong to the beer scene. And uh, I'm here at the Beer Lovers booth, and with me is a brewmaster that have met in several breweries uh, around Europe, but now he's with a new one. I have no idea about. Hi, Bynard. Hey, hello, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you? Good, enjoying Vienna like always. Yeah. One of my favorite cities, so. Vienna's party, huh? Yeah, it's, nah, Vienna's people. <laughs> <laughs> Vienna's people, yeah. And this is why we're here. Um, we, we have met at uh, other breweries, but now uh, you're with a new, or oh, you're, um, you're with a Spanish brewery yeah. now uh, in the Basque Land. Yeah, Basque Land. Uh, yeah. Gross Brewing. Gross Brewing. I've, yeah. I've never heard about Gross Brewing. Can you introduce me quickly to Gross Brewing? Yeah, so actually uh, it was like founded like in 2013, but it was like a contract brewing for some years. Okay. Uh, the, in 2017, they decided to open their own brewery. But shortly after they opened, the owner and brewer back then had a really bad like burning. You know, he was boiling and the board was coming to him and he got burned. So he was in the hospital for a long time. So even if he's like around for a long, long time, like uh, just in the last couple of years is when Gross was uh, kind of pushing a little bit more. Yeah. As you said, located in San Sebastian, in the Basque Country, we are a small brewery, like mostly focusing IPAs, lagers, sours. So, so you bring the, the, the full range, not not only classic beer styles, not only the fancy new ones, everything. Everything, yeah. So like we love to brew oh, haze IPAs, but we love to brew lagers. So it's like a bit of everything. Uh, but still, if, if people talk about gross brewing, well, which would uh, be a signature beer of gross brewing? Is it an IPA or is it a lager beer? It's an IPA, I would say, yeah. yeah. It's like our, actually our best seller still now is going to be on tap tomorrow here, and it's a sticky, it's a West Coast IPA. Uh, and it's like, it was the first beer we were brewing, and it still is like a best seller, so yeah. yeah. Okay. And you poured me a beer, which is super, super fruity, uh, for just from the aroma. I, my nose is just getting it, and it says gross, what is... Uh, Caldo crazy. Caldo crazy, what does it mean? Well, that's a, that's a weird name. We were like actually drinking some some beer someday, and our, our oh, uh, the boss of gross is, is called Andoni Caldos. And he was like talking about like if someday he will like uh, ro rule the world, it, was, it, 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 it will be a gallocracy, you know. So he, he's the Elon Musk of uh, beer brewing. <laughs> not really, not really. I think it was like yes, too many, too many beers drank that night. But yeah, we, we keep we have a group in WhatsApp where we usually when we have an idea about a new name, we are sending send them there, you know. And sometimes when you drink some beers and you send it and then you read like a couple of days later, there are some funny names coming out from there. But this one is super, super fruity, lots of tropical aroma, and uh, it's it, it definitely an IPA. Yeah, it's an IPA, Hazy IPA, 6%, uh, hop it with Citra and Big Secret from Australia. Well, that actually was like one of the uh, first time we used these hops in, in Gross, like a Big Secret, and we are like pleasantly surprised. I think with the Citra, they are really like compensating each other to like do a really fruity beer and really like balancing like white fruit with tropical stuff, yeah? This is super, super easy drinking. I was expecting a, bit, a bit, little bit more uh, thickness, but it's super uh, light mouthfeel. Yeah. It's easy drinking, lots of fruits going on, tiny little bit of bitterness. Yeah. Very, very nice. I think the idea, you know, like we, even if we brew like big beers, double IPAs, triple IPAs, whatever, we like our beers to be drinkable. Yeah. So it's like we really work in the brew house and we do like work in the process to make the beer. Even if it can be a 6% or 8% IPA, it has to be drinkable, you know. You, you should be able to drink at least one, two pints of them, you know. Yeah. What is the ABV on this one? 6%. 6%? 6%, 6 yeah. 6%, 6%, yeah. 6 wow. It, it tastes uh, a lot more, yeah. uh, but uh, has a nice mouthfeel. The fruitiness stays, the bitterness stays, uh, the nice uh, fruitiness uh, on the palate. So, um, yeah, if people are interested in tasting your beers, uh, how can they, they, they get your beers? Uh, like actually, we just started working with, uh, with uh, beer lovers. Uh, yesterday was the first premiere of the beers in, in Austria. It was like at the Brauhund, like Lucky's Bar, old friend from mine for a long time. So I think that from now on you will be able to buy them probably like via beer lovers, via Amersin, and in all the. All if you're on holiday, go to San Sebastian and uh, you have a tap room for sure. Yeah, we have a tap room there. Actually, like uh, it's 15 minutes from the center by bus, so easy to get there. And big space where you can have like uh, beers, like burgers, like nice mass burgers, like like it's a really nice space. And we do out of like great parties, you know, like every every month we do a big party with a different theme, like it can be from Oktoberfest, but it can be like a release of a collab with a surf brand and DJs, and it's a good buy for sure. 
Sounds great. So if you're planning a holiday in uh, Spain, don't miss uh, San Sebastian, don't miss Gross Brewing. Bye now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, hope to taste lots of your beers. And uh, I will grab some cans and uh, review them on my channel. And if you want to buy those beers, check out the website of beerlovers.at. Uh, and they have a large online shop where have the beers of Gross Brewing. So uh, bye now. Thank you again. Yeah, cheers. And cheers.